What's up guys, welcome to my first episode in the Let's Play of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, this beginning part, there's a lot of dialogue and cinematics, so I'm not really going to be doing that much commentary. Uh, so you guys just sit back and enjoy the rest of this clip. You, finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, they would have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovngarde awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? We need to go inside with the boat. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We worked with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? So, um... Yeah, now I get to create my character. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little introduction there. Um, the thief, I'd just like to note that I thought his voice acting was really bad. And, uh, yeah, he was an idiot for trying to run off. But 
Anyways, uh, I decided to play as a Khajiit, I think that's how you say it, they're like cat people. And uh, I did have to speed up and cut out a lot of parts here because I spent a lot of time just going through all the different options and trying to figure out what I wanted um, in terms of features and stuff like that. And I didn't exactly know this at the time, but each race kind of has uh, stats and things that they're good with. For example, like Dark Elves are better as mages than, I don't know, maybe somebody like the Nords. So I didn't know that when I created the uh, my character, but it didn't really... I don't really care that much anyways, uh, cause cat people are awesome. Alright, so right here I name my character, um, name his, name him Sploosh, and uh, we're about to get executed here, well, we are, uh, they're going to attempt to execute us. As you'll list. see in a moment here, obviously the, the game wouldn't end, you know, five minutes after By you started. Orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your men's return to elsewhere. Follow the captain, prisoner. Ulfric <laughs> Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like a voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. They're starting to hear things. Yes, they don't know what it is. I bet you guys know what it is already. As we Hint, it flies. The beginning part uh, is mostly Let's like this kind of cinematic stuff, so I do have to apologize for that. Um, but just know that the rest of the game, there really isn't uh, this much of cinematics and things like that. It's mostly killing things and... Uh, Things of that, that nature. Now oh, this part is pretty awesome say. right here, not even gonna lie. And there it goes. Head comes off into the crate. You and you bastards. are next on the chopping block. Death to the storm cloaks. As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the cat! Still hearing some more sounds out there. They don't know what it is. I said next But it's pretty obvious. Um So here we go. About to get our heads chopped off. And here we go. Always be kinda weird if like right here they just cut your head off and the game was over. Be interesting. Uh, but look at that. It's a dragon. What do you see? So he's gonna, you know, do the sonic boom thing in a second here. Just like, rah! And sky explodes and all this stuff. And uh, now is your chance to escape. Some blurry thing here now, looking at the ground. And stops for a second. And yeah, now you get to move around. And, uh, it's all blurry, which is weird, but, yeah, I get into here, and, uh, climb up these stairs in a second, just doing some audio with our newly met Nord friend here, and climb up these stairs, and I was actually supposed to jump out that after the dragon left, but I didn't know that, so... I ended up screwing around trying to get to the very top of the tower for a little bit. Uh, I think I cut that part out mostly, but... Yeah, I thought it was up here, and it was not. It was down this way. So here we go, jumping in, into this building. Uh, lost a little bit of health there. And uh, in this very first episode, guys, I do have to apologize that I'm uh, kind of jumping all around. Don't really know what to do. 
This is my first Elder Scrolls game, and I'm just learning all the new mechanics, and uh, it took me a while to get a hang of the controls, so I tried to cut out as much of that as I could, um, and switching gear around and things like that, because I spent a lot of unneeded time doing that. But so far I'm really liking this game, it's very, uh, like, dynamic, the world is massive, and uh, for the PC the game is only 6 gigabytes. Uh, with their new engine they were able to compress it down that low, which is just insane because, I mean, this game should really be much, much larger. Um, but I mean, so far I'm really, really liking this game, I'm about three hours in at this point and I have a ton of footage to sift through uh, for this let's play. So um, doing a little audio convo here and there comes the dragon. We have to go into this keep right here to take refuge and uh, try and escape. Here we are inside here, and uh, I took a lot of time looting and screwing around here, so, you know, I apologize for that, but uh, I did cut out most of it, so. Uh, we find this guy's dead body here, and I'm not exactly sure how he died, because um, it seems like this keep is sealed off pretty well. Just like the children's stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. And finally get there our little um, handcuffs off. And now we are free to do whatever we want. I take all of his loot and equip that for myself. All right. get that and, uh, and right now I'm just kind of messing around. I'm going and I'm just taking whatever uh, I can pretty much. Ah, take the broom, so take all the tankers, you know, why not? And me, this is me just adjusting the camera angles. So, uh, yeah, and then we go into this uh, <coughs> gate here, and we're about to get into a fight with some Imperials. And, my bad, it's actually not that gate, it's this one. The gate goes down, and this was my first uh, chance at combat, which I really enjoyed. I really like the combat in this game. Uh, you dodge attacks, and I open the map for some reason, uh, but how you dodge attacks, and um, it's just really, uh, I like it a lot, it's a lot like Dark Falls Combat, which I really enjoyed, even though that game was more PvP-centric. Um, and, what was I going to say here? Oh yeah, uh, you might be noticing uh, that this is a commentary taken after the gameplay, which uh, I don't think really happens too much in Let's Plays. And it was just easier for me um, to do it this way so far, but I'm thinking I might start doing live commentary after these first couple of episodes because it actually saves me time. And, well, it's really not that hard to set up. But, yeah, I'm just trying out after commentary here. And, um, well, let me go know what you guys prefer after the uh, after I've already got everything recorded and then do commentary or live commentary. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. That ends it for this episode, guys. I know there wasn't much commentary, and uh, I know it wasn't that crazy exciting, but trust me, guys, the next part, there's going to be a lot more combat. There's going to be a lot more to talk about and discuss. So let me know what you think uh, of this video in the comments below. Leave your honest opinions and thoughts um, and like it if you like it, favorite it if you really like it, uh, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more gameplay. And that's it for this video, guys. Next time will be better, I promise. Thank you for watching.